called uh, New York is No More, or No More New York as the original title was. New York used to be a squatter's town, and a misfits town, and a union town. This is where you could find a cheap place to live with the bathroom down the hall. Many vanished into the remains of burnt out warehouses once run by a hey, who wants to know industries, only to succumb to the midnight storms of Jewish lightning. This was the town where the truly strange and burnt out radicals sat at, din at diners with coffee stained napkins sitting under coffee stained cups screaming about the price of rent or the loss of tenements under the weight of Lincoln Center. Here, punks, rabbis, conmen, and the artists were the Lower East Side, and where one could always find a cheap meal across from CBGB or Chinatown. Now this is where the truly cheated outrun their debts, only to be taken by another deal by those who make a living through dead promises of escaping the old processing plant of the tombs, where, oh, I'm sorry, which delivers another gone tenant to another landlord, like room service, churning out the nameless assholes to the yearless avenues. This city has never been a morning town. New York has always been an insomniac's town. All of its true professionals, its night workers have become nothing more than just another commodity for the wealthy squares who vanished on the other side of the George Washington Bridge or across the LIE or the white, I'm sorry, or the exit of the uh, White Plains. And from across the Tappan Zee, from <clears throat> the Long Island of the Keated, the bored children of the Exodus have escaped their garrisons known as villages and have decided to <clears throat> to return to the city as if coming back to a holy land. The only price is their souls which have become tainted meat for landlords to lay their gospel of the rented truth of the tenements. And what is the labor pool but a discount bin which is rummaged through by only the truly wealthiest fingers looking to cheat the hope, uh, hopelessly cheated and, and on all the professional walls all the clocks no longer keep track of the minutes or even the hours of each day. Instead, they measure the drudgery of the uh, grocery store cashier and the convenience store clerk alike. What ticks away on these clocks is no longer time, but the overtime hours robbed from each worker by each manager. But despite their position, both clerk and boss know that they will forever live on shut-in hours where all fantasies are teenage dreams of something better and have replaced the reality that years no longer matter in the land of the cheated. One always flows into the other and they all seem the same. This is a town where Stonewall blew up in the face of the NYPD where night sticks were replaced by high heel shoes. Beautiful word. That came down on the skulls of bloodthirsty cops like Congo Rain, traffic. That is the only consistency in the cheated heart of an indifferent city. Here in each of these rooms, dirt and steam heat are neither friend nor enemy, but the last things we can trust until the next rent demand or the next visit to housing court. And all of the good fortune ends when you are reduced to walking through the streetlight and neon store front parades like a moth through a flame with no thought of coming out alive. The power brokers, the Wall Street boys, the real estate boards, the college boards of NYU and Columbia, and advertisement boards are the true gods of New York, basking with the inflated egos. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. made of junk bonds, but sooner or later they all get dragged down to the street level and torn apart like so many toys 
which have stayed their welcome. When the, pl when the payoffs become too great a price or when they are recalled when the sales run out. But Catholic guilt in Albany will inflate these holy egos while Jewish lightning burns down the tenements and SROs built before the gods were born. This, the season of crime. Thank you. Yeah.